Hello and welcome back to Let's Play Star Trek Online Dead is Dead, where the cell ship just appeared. With the pajama claw. <laughs> My voice. And the summoner of the Sulaban, <laughs> Tiberiosity. <laughs> oh, sorry, that was great. <laughs> anyway, our Scythia, uh, Scythia Boris and the company and captains, Starfleet Command wants an observation of, to evaluate your crew. You've done great things for us, and we have no doubts in your abilities, but... We, we have doubt your abilities. <laughs> have we oh, doubt your abilities? Um, I have a 22.5% phaser damage bonus, if you guys want it. We'll, we'll get to it later. But we I have missions probably ahead of us. Right probably because we attacked what's his face last time. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> He's written us up. Ryan says we have no doubts, first of all. I don't know why. Oh, yeah, yeah. He, he does say that at my end, but. He, he, you can't believe him. <laughs> He's one of God's running around oh, the is, station oh, trying to. That's why he's sending us through this, because he doubts us. Like, hmm. We're going to give him another chance, but I don't believe them. Anyway. But we have missions ahead of us that require a ship and crew at peak of performance. And the command wants to make sure that you're the right person for the job with the right ship. First, meet up with Captain Grah in the operations room, and he will accompany you to a war games exercise in the drilling system. And evaluate your progress as commander of the Tall Hill, the uh, Faraday, and the Venator. Venator? Venator. Venator. Yeah, uh, whatever. Admiral, then, uh, then you are ordered to proceed to the Draylon system for a combat tutorial exercise. Your opponents in the war games will be the USS Athens, commanded by the captain of the Tavaral. Where are you going? Oh, we're to we, go and talk yeah. to him. <laughs> we did it again. <laughs> we read where we had to go at the end of the <laughs> green text, but we didn't read the actual thing. Oh, God damn it. Um, Are we heading to the Space Nine? Yes. She is a formidable opponent, and the app has been upgraded with state of the art technology. I'm eager to see how she performs in combat. Your ship's computer will be modified so that your registered hits will uh, hit and take damage, but neither of your ships <coughs> will be harmed. Yeah, I'll just wait here. Don't, don't hold back, Admiral. Right. We want to see what you're capable of. I I don't need my ship to be modified. Here's a strange question. See if we end up uh, dying to this. Do we die? No, it wouldn't count. That's a that's a well, strange question. It it depends what goes wrong. <laughs> yeah, we know true. something's gonna go wrong. <laughs> if we discover <laughs> that our weapons are still on full power, and we've just blown <laughs> a bunch of people up for no good reason. <laughs> oh. Like Ty was trying to do. <laughs> oh yeah, sorry, we, we don't mean that. No, yeah, your, Tyra, your chip does need to be modified. <laughs> no, doesn't. You'll be firing live oh. rounds. <laughs> no, Is no, this... I'll, I'll just, give, I'll just uh, give them my weapon frequencies. That totally negates shit, right? <laughs> Actually, King the does. That's the bad thing. It's like really, ah, oh. you'd have to set this. Wait a minute, that. That's a good point. Why don't we just shift our frequencies to? Well, uh, one chain, one slight error, I and mean, then suddenly you are firing live rounds at each other. It's well, just easier true. to change the rounds. It's safer to modify. Yeah, I guess. Ah. <sighs> well, welcome, to Deep Space Nine Control. Yeah, I, I feel welcome. Also, Mega Particles everywhere. And people everywhere. Yeah, but only one of them counts for the scan. Yeah, but well, they're still everywhere. Indeed. Hello there. Um, operation is this way, I think. Yeah. Yep, here we go. Uh, Captain Grah. Hello, Captain Grah. Hello there, Sophia Boris. Hello, Admiral. Admiral Quinn has told me a really? deal about the whole hell. What? Look, this is Ca uh, Captain Kurland, this is Captain Gork. Couldn't he just have moved over and talked to, talk to us on our view screen? <laughs> <laughs> He's literally That's two metres away. Oh no, our ship needs to be here to be retrofitted. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah, I've done some war games on before. my watchers if you want them. <laughs> <coughs> it is my task to observe you during these war games. I hope you do well, Admiral. Is there anything else you would like to ask me? I've got Mark IV weapons, I could just put those on. <laughs> they didn't seem to do shit against you. I guess, what are your orders? Or our orders, yeah. 
Um, I'll join you for the trip to the Draylin system and stay aboard the USS Tohill and observe you during the war games. I am looking forward to seeing you in action, admirals. I have heard nothing but good thing about you and your crews. Um, Captain, I would recommend you come aboard with USS Faraday instead of a toy. <laughs> <laughs> You'll probably live. <laughs> I've, I've, I've lived well enough. That's true, but you're not designed to. Well, yeah. But nor is Defiant. Defiant was actually kind of a piece of crap, to be honest. Why was, why was it going there? Oh, I mean, yeah, it was over-designed, just... it's... Uh, almost blew itself apart just by firing and flying. You know? I'm I'm pale. And I'm oh. disappeared. <laughs> okay. I am pale. I am gone. I should probably give Devex some actual equipment. <clears throat> yeah. What was that our phaser modification you were talking about? What? Oh. Um I I don't know, the Silverbond ship left. Oh god damn it. <laughs> I thought you'd pick it up. Give me a second. You don't see enough suitable ships. Yeah. Well, they did kind of get mostly wiped out. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Details. Aha! You'll never catch me, Faraday. <laughs> I think it was That's a. Like transport drive. <laughs> <laughs> you just like transport to Seoul and you just come back again. God damn it! <laughs> I can transport to this sector block, yeah, but it puts me over by Cardassia. Ah, uh, okay. If it put me nearer to this system, <laughs> I would have totally jumped. <laughs> <laughs> I would have totally transport that this extra sector block. <laughs> <laughs> Just so you'd catch up. Yeah. Wow. wow. I have not been putting any effort into upgrading my crew. <laughs> really? They've all yeah. basically got their starter gear. Yeah, I've got Mark 7 pretty much at the height, <laughs> I think, for my crew. That's I the highest. I have a science officer that got Mark 2 stuff. Oh. <laughs> uh, oh, an officer who doesn't have any body armor and standard shields <laughs> and weapons. <coughs> yeah, yep. I had one of them, then I saw I had a bunch of equipment lying around. I was like, yeah, sure, take that, Mr. Ferengi man. Hey, Mr. Ferengi, man, man, how you doing today? Anyway, during the Dominion War, the Dominion forces began stumping and scrapping vessels and other space debris into the Draylon system. A field of refuse grew through the war until the Dominion abandoned it after signing the Treaty of Bejor. Karasian ships have plundered the field for much recyclable matter, but the rest of the remnants and of Starfleet resources have mounted up the major cleanup operation. Until then, Starfleet commanders uh, found a use for the area as a site of training exercises that are too dangerous to be held in near populated worlds. Okay. So basically, this is just our fly firing round place. A test ground. Hmm. Yep. Yeah. Uh, but not for shakedown runs, apparently. Uh, that's okay, they've got that Borg infested area for that, haven't they? <laughs> <laughs> Oh, well, we just keep Borgs alive now to attack. <laughs> just shake down our ships against the Borg. <laughs> yeah, basically. What better coming of age test than a Borg invasion? <laughs> <laughs> oh. Yeah. And the, speech and the families of Will 359 are just still floating there going, ha <laughs> <laughs> Oh god, sorry, oh, not no. responding. Yeah. Uh, you're probably patching. Well. Fourteen. Oh no, there we go. Oh, hello there, little escort ship. Well, I'll be right back. Okay. So sorry. We're back. Oh, okay, right. Um, At least my end. Hello, I'm entering the Dreadon uh, system. We. Uh, but, uh, ah, Drago just kind of started. I was like, oh, okay, yeah, we're back then. Yeah. Woo, back. Just waiting for Tiber. Anyway, Captain. Starfleet commanders ordered us to take part in the battle readiness exercise. The combat, the computer will read any <coughs> hits as damage, and then deactivate the affected systems. But our weapons have been reconfigured, so we cannot inadvertently damage other Federation ships. What if I'll get this <laughs> announcement? 
Our target for today is USS Athens, commanded by Captain Tavala. The Athens is upgraded with new systems that should make it a formidable opponent. So, Starfleet is sending us and the USS Carlisle to support us during the battle. <laughs> that will not be necessary. Yeah. <laughs> you, you can set this one out, Carlisle. We've got this. Ah, fire! There. Okay, that took a while to fire. Oh, the lag! Oh, the lag is unbelievable! <laughs> I'm not getting any lag, it's all on you. Oh yeah, it's all me. Hey, hey, hey. Hey, I would like to get, oh. Oh. Wait, what? What happened um, there? Captain, um, the USS Carlisle has been destroyed. Wait, what? I'm hailing the Athens in all channels, but it's not responding. Recommend we release the computer lock, the computer lock on our weapons and attempt to disable the Athens. It's not being destroyed. If we don't, we may suffer the same fate as the Carlisle. The Carlisle still got 50 is the one on our side. No, the Carlisle's destroyed, not the Athens. Oh, right. Yeah. <laughs> Oops. <laughs> Oops. <laughs> well, I guess we'll never know the mystery. <laughs> oh god, I destroyed it. And I sh Oops. shot it after it was dead. <laughs> the Athens has been disabled and there's no response from our hills. Oops. <laughs> well, recommend we send away teams on board to investigate. <laughs> I had a heavy tricobalt device. And I hit it with a <laughs> Cool, it's already back up at 3%. Oh. <laughs> I'm sorry, what? Oh. <clears throat> Captain, scans determined that the safest place to beam in was Cargo Bay 4, but we need to make our way to the bridge. Sir, according to Starfleet records, USS Athens wasn't carrying cargo. This hold should be empty. We shouldn't see what they're. Uh, we should see what they're carrying. It might oh. be. It might help us understand what's happening. What? I think I know what's going on here. I vaguely remember. Wait, what? Mirror universe, what? motherfuckers! Stop, stop a second, stop a second. Why is the wall behind this? What, what is this dead end, sir? What? It's surely a the dead end. Storage room. What's this serve? No, this is too small for room. street. This is too damn small. This is a cargo bay. Oh, fuck it, whatever. <laughs> sure, let's go. <laughs> ah. Oops. <laughs> oh, wow, that was an enemy. <laughs> Did not notice. <laughs> what? <laughs> I didn't notice he was Wait. an enemy. Wait, are those enemy mines? Captain, the crew of the uh, ship are not humanoid in origin. They're undying. If the entire crew has been replaced, we could uh, be in a very dangerous situation. But if they're in human form, they will be. They are just as vulnerable to our weapons as any human would be. Oh, that's convenient. <laughs> How convenient! <laughs> that's amazing. <laughs> Thanks. Just being in this form makes them weak! Like, why wouldn't they just turn then? Yeah, I mean, you we know? know. Yeah, I mean... If we know well, already... Well, we just had to kill them before they had the chance to figure it out. Yeah, but the rest of them... I'm we, sure oh, they we just had to kill target. them before they had the chance to figure it out. I'm saying the rest of them, though, not, you know... Oh. Uh, these are stockpiles of arisomyorphic injections, Captain. This, they're a drug that the Undyne used to maintain the humanoid form. Can we take them? We need them! Why? To stay human? Uh, <laughs> no, uh, requests and shit. Uh, no. Just, yeah, just requests. Not because I oh. need to stay human. Mm -hmm. Yep. Oh, please, you're <laughs> a trill. the fact you're a trill. <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> That's a good point! Burn and plasmatic. Oh my god, he jumped! How he did. did you jump, man? <laughs> He's undying. Holy crap, he like jumped this box with ease. <laughs> it was almost like those guys off the top of that building. I can almost do it. Yeah, but, you know, not as handily as he did it. Well, he's an alien. Well, I guess. Trills are aliens. Technically, I'm an alien wow. too, but ah! that doesn't matter. Uh, help! Ow! Uh -oh. Go, go, face the turret! Go, go, overkill! Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, Faraday! I think it wasn't it overkill enough, I still had to vaporize somebody. I think it worked. <laughs> oh, cat people! 
That's racist. <laughs> <laughs> oh, cat people! That's racist. Just saying cat people is racist? Well, I guess, maybe? Apparently Jerry's were racist as well. Look, they're fucking cats. Ow! <laughs> Vaporization. <laughs> I'm just gonna stand in this plasmatic fire. There we go. I'm not undying at all. Mm-mm, not me. <laughs> Tower, have you noticed anything strange about You're Sophia? You're not smart enough to be in that <laughs> I mean, her ship is awfully big. It's not normal. <laughs> <laughs> oh, God. da 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 Ah! Oh, I summoned free! Yay! <laughs> They're just standing there. <laughs> <laughs> they are just standing They also there. have no guns. <laughs> oh, there we go, now they have guns. <laughs> oh my god, a combat oh, tellerite! Vaporize the midget! <laughs> Vaporize the little guy! Combat Sorry about the cat there. <laughs> combat tellerite. Combat tellerite. Combat tellerite's running through the night. Ow! Hey, go away. Eh. Wait, how do we know that they're Undine? Because we vaporized them easily. I actually don't know, I wasn't really paying attention when we discovered this fact. No, like, I think, I think why just, do we think they're Undine? I think we just scanned I, one and went, oh look, it's Undine. It doesn't Ooh. work that way. Yeah, apparently it does. <laughs> There are enough isomorphic what? injections in this car will be to supply a hundred undying. This entire ship could be overrun. What? Captain, what? we should get a uh, get to the bridge. We need to get control of this ship immediately. This is an oddly sized ladder. Oh, don't oh. worry. That is rather coincidental, that ladder. If I remember right. Which I, I... think I do. I would have I thought regaining that. control of a ship would be our primary purpose regardless of whatever we found in the cargo bay. Yeah, true. There's too much damage uh, to the Athens to use the turbo lift, sir. However, there's a Jeffrey's tube nearby, coincidentally. Oh, Can God, we not just it. beam to the bridge? Uh, we should take it as far it as we can and then look for another way to access the bridge. Find a way to the bridge. This deck is mostly recreational areas and holodecks in the mess hall, but we should be able to find a way to access the bridge. Captain, someone has activated the emergency beacon and uh, our How did that hold like it? I can assist in the signal, it is coming from nearby mess hall. Okay. I... That was weird. <laughs> it took a journey through the floor. <laughs> <laughs> it took a journey through the floor. What is this? Who is this? Oh, it's Devax. Okay. I didn't know Devax was an engineer, I thought he was a medical man. I didn't know I had a chance to beam down two generators. Ah. Uh, Huh. The Vex beamed one down. Oh yeah, the Vex done oh. one. Yeah, that's, okay. that's why I was surprised about the Vex. I almost got surprised <laughs> that you managed to beam down. got a medical generator. Don't hurt me! Wait! You're not with them, are you? I don't know what they are, but they aren't... Uh-oh. They aren't like us. Uh, I'm supposed to be on shore leave to DS9, but I cannot come back to the ship. Uh, I came back to the ship last night to get something that was in my quarters, and I remember uh, being hit in the head by something. And and, uh, and then when I woke up, we were under attack, the, and the shields were falling. I peeked out to see what was going on, and and I saw, I I saw it was horrible. Look, it was it was space <clears throat> tentacles. Look, you you probably want to get to the bridge, right? Th those 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 creatures are guarding the direct paths. If you take the lifts or any other main corridors, they'll catch you. But I can show you a way up there if you take me with you. Here's a question. Can we trust them? Why are my chronoton mines Klingon? Eh. I beamed them in and they had Klingon transports signatures. Eh. Wow, well, you're kind of like Klingons. You're mostly green. <laughs> you're kind of like Klingons. You kill each other. Yeah, except Romulan transporters are green. Ah. Klingons are kind of orangey. Oh. Yeah, but both your ships are green and use green weapons. We have a dumb. green society. 
I'm green. Da boo dee da boo die. What? What? I need to eat food. Just so I can get more damage resistance. <coughs> oh my! Oh! Uh. <laughs> Hope you got that damage resistance. Uh, I just got some though. Uh, I got one of them. Okay, we're all good. Yay! I need to change Why are we escorting this guy and not just killing everything and then going to the bridge with him? Well, because he thinks he wants. To, he, he thinks he can be helpful. He thinks he's important, okay? <laughs> Well, at least he's walking slowly oh. behind us, so if we keep killing things fast oh, enough, it'll all work out. Don't hold me, I'm a Vulcan! <laughs> Don't hold me, I'm a Vulcan! You're just punching holes through the hull with reckless abandon. Yes, <laughs> yes I am. <laughs> no, we he's it an engineer. Isn't it nice that it's only a three minute cooldown now? Yes, yes it is. As opposed to the five minutes it used to be? Why are you running? Yep. Why are you sprint? Actually, no mind. Wait, Don't know why I'm asking. Because I can. <laughs> <laughs> why am I asking this question? Why aren't you sprinting? Well, well, maybe going. Leave and, me. Oh yeah, we we have to wait. For those who are wondering, oh. my engineer is also wielding a Borg medical thing. Arm. Wait, what? How did you get the arm? Internet. Oh, I almost forgot. I need my things. That's the whole reason I was on the ship uh, when all of this happens. I I won't be a minute. <laughs> You'll protect me while I go get my stuff, right? Uh, sure. <laughs> oh god. <laughs> Guys, back this way. Oh. I'm being oh, summoned. Hi. Oh. That's a lot of stuff. Oh, oh actually. <laughs> I thought that was more behind that door. Did you just plasma grenade yourself? <laughs> Apparently, I tried to fling it at these guys, and they just decided to drop in my face. I kind of killed most of them. Wait, uh, where is this hypo. quarters? In here? I don't know. Where is... He went through this door behind us. Ah! Oh, okay. Or... <sighs> Hi. Ow! Shield's losing power. It's almost like we're in the middle of a fire fight. Wait a minute, why are they beaming in? Site to site transport. Why? They could just walk through the door. <laughs> Maybe the doors are lo have lost power. Well, then why are the lights this... not lost power? Well, of course they're not going to come through the doors. This isn't some kind of video game where they just why come out of the Why did he just beam in? <laughs> Got it, man. If I... Uh, if I had lost my crap to Proto and Holo novels, I'd be miserable. Oh, it's fucking Tom Paris. Okay, you're ready Why to get Why don't you have that stuff backed up on the cloud? Surely you still have the cloud. Uh, you the great have technological control systems. Fall must of, have the cloud. Of... <laughs> the cloud is an incredibly inefficient system. Uh, no, but it's Star sure. Trek. A lot of things also, are incredibly inefficient systems, and they still have them. On crystals. You should know that by now. Uh. I'm pretty sure you could transcribe one into bits and bytes. Yeah, you have an idea how many, <clears throat> like, millions of terabytes one holographic program would be? This is a big ship. <laughs> I'm sure you could, could yeah. like, spend a fraction of the cost to build the ship on building just, a database to store. The, just talk to the man. Yeah, okay. it just makes no sense. Anyway, Admiral, you can access the bridge through here. This is the way. This way should be clear. I, I, I think I should beam aboard your ship now. Just be safe. Keep him under guard, ops. Yeah. Oh wait, he's, boarding, he's beaming aboard your ship. Keep yeah. Weapons framed <laughs> on that ship. I. I no. Send don't, him to the don't. fragile one. The one we can kill <laughs> easily. Yep. <laughs> the ensign is fractal beams at the also ready. Also the fastest one. The fastest damn ship <laughs> is well. Fractal beams at the ready. Uh. Anyway. And the ensign is transporting aboard our ship now. If we're lucky, the Jeffrey's tube will get us to the bridge. You better not do shit. You could have killed him. Oh no, how sad. The bridge is just up ahead. Ensign Longworth was right all along. We've bypassed a lot of their security. I'd recommend that we look for Captain Vala. Tavala. That one in the background is either... either an Andorian or an Ophidian. He's very angry. <laughs> crunch. 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 Burn! It's burnt. 
It's like crispy duck neck. Wouldn't it be hilarious if we were fighting actual humans and they were trying to take the ship back and yep. that ensign was uh, not a human? Yeah. Oh, hey, look, they're coming from behind us. I'm actually suspecting oh. that that ensign's a uh, thing. Like bad person. A bad yeah. person. Mm -hmm. I get him. Oh, no, they're coming from in front of us. Yeah. <laughs> it was a ruse. Oh. Uh. Ow. Ow. Okay, we Ouch. got this. Cannot block when knocked down. I wasn't trying to block. There is no way of blocking. Is there? I just thought, is there a way of blocking with no. weapon? You guys no. good? Yeah, I just helped you. Fiber, I just came and helped you a couple of times ago. Oh, hi! Ouch! <laughs> ouchie, ouchie, ouchie! Ouchie, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, no! Sorry, hey guys, look what I can do! So be it! The strong survive, and the weak! And you, and are, you weak. are weak! And the weak! The strong <laughs> and the weak survive! Hi. Oh crap! We are a communist society! Oh god! Oh god! Ah. Ah. Stay Yo. still, Mr. Captain Man! I'm going for the guard. Oh god! <laughs> uh, it's burning! Meet that oh. old rogue, motherfucker! Oh, it's gone? He beamed up. Yeah. Up to what? Where the hell oh. did these ensigns come from? I don't know! <laughs> we have the ensign brigade! Why are we putting ensigns in, <laughs> in charge? <laughs> well, it's technically we were ensigns and we were in charge and we turned up just fine. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. But We've committed genocide there, multiple times. <laughs> We've committed genocide and survived multiple times, it's been great. Uh, it's a good thing that you showed up and help us when you did. <laughs> Oh, uh, <laughs> this could have been very ugly. Captain, there is an emergency hill from our ship. An undying ship has appeared, and it's attacking. We need to return to our ships immediately. Mm. Up we go. I don't and away like, we go. <laughs> I don't like the sound of this, because if they hit me with that high-powered beam thing... Uh, It'll take out a shield up, you'll be fine. Most uh, likely. Uh, I have a feeling I'm going to lose, like, half my health. I don't like Maybe. This, but... I'll tank. Like I always do. <laughs> Assuming I load. I'll murder, like I always do. Assuming I also load. We're at one sec. Uh, one percent. Yep. I hope the undying that's on my shit doesn't, you know, lower the shield. <laughs> that would be most inconvenient. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Captain! We've got more trouble. It looks like the Zodiac showed up, uh, or we'd be Vapor now. It, it's a good thing the Zodiac showed up, or we'd be Vapor now. Let's keep the Undying ship occupied, but we need to, uh, to lend it a hand. Starfleet says reinforcements are on the way. Continue. Uh, yeah. Oh god. Keep try Cobalt the race. Oh no, it's a battle dreadnought. Yeah. Ah. Uh, it's cool. Will... Photonic fleet's got this. Ah. Uh, we can uh, attack it with everything. Charge! Headlong charge! Try Cobalt device in your face! Ah, we got this. Yeah. I suppose the fleet has arrived now, so it's taking <laughs> a lot of damage. Fleet is shooting out there. Oh, hi. There we go. Ah, I'm gonna get away. We loosened it. <laughs> oh, my? <laughs> the Undying ship has returned back to fluid... Wait, what? Under all that? Oh, okay. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Return to fluid space. <laughs> And it looks like the Undyne on the Athens has transported off to the sh off the ship. We yes. were <laughs> we capture a large supply of the isomorphic injections. Oh, oh, that's why we couldn't keep them because the fleet showed up. Oh right, 
However, maybe our scientists can put them to good use and we can find a way to modify our scanners or even create a weapon that we can use against the Undyne. Pretty sure Captain Sell them for lots that, and like, lots of 40 years ago. Yeah, she did, and it was basically just Borg nanoprobes. Anyway, the Starfleet Corps of Engineers is sending a team to tow the Athens back to Starbase for inspection. I'm out of here. Later, suckers. And Captain Grah says he will be pleased, or at our, he has pleased at our combat inspections with flying colors. Or past, even. Or he has pleased our combat inspections. <laughs> 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 oh, God. He is pleased. Oh my god, what chip is that? That's tall as balls. That's tall the, as balls. one of the dreadnoughts is that a term? Uh, yes. of a federation. It's not a playable ship, unfortunately. Oh, right. Uh, I think different. it was like a placeholder dreadnought until they got the Galaxy X. Ah, uh, okay. Anyway, well done, Admiral. Starfleet was expecting some kind of opposition when we arranged the combat training exercise, but you handled it with unusual skill. We are in the hunt for the Undyne that was possessing, uh, posing as Captain Taval. And we're looking into what happened in the rest of the Athens crew. Unfortunately, at this time, we have more questions than answers. Hmm. hmm. So what should we go for? Um... Eh, uh, I'm going for the second one. <laughs> they're all just kinetic, that's like, eh, uh, you know. Yeah, they're all very similar. I have four open bridge officer slots. I find this amusing. I'm sure this can be of use to someone. Hmm? Hmm. It'll be useful to me. Yeah. Uh, 5% chance to heal and maximum health, or 5% chance to heal and health regeneration and maximum health. Yes. Enemy! Uh, wait, what? Uh, resolve mission, join a mega force? What? Um. Uh, what level are you? Level 44. 44. Yeah, I think that's when you get. Um. Reputation system. No. 45. No, the, I think that's when you can join STFs. Really? I think so. Uh. No. Oh, hmm. whatever. Anyway. We'll leave it there, so until next time, all the best, and have Bye. fun, everybody.